Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we'll find the inlet derivative of y is equals to log ax plus b. All right, so let's start for the first derivative. If I find the first derivative of this expression, it will be 1 upon ax plus b and um, ax plus and with and we'll multiply it with the differentiation of ax plus b, that is a, right? We do it for the second time. So for the second one, uh, a is a constant, and we can uh, we can look at this expression as a x plus a into a x plus b to the power minus one. So minus one will be here, and uh, we'll subtract minus one from the top, and then we'll again differentiate a x plus b into a. All right. So a square minus one a x plus b to the power minus two. All right. So we'll do it for the third time so that we can see the pattern. So this time it will be again, um, we'll differentiate ax plus b. So that is, uh, uh, that's minus 2 ax plus b to the power minus 3, right? Into, um, into differentiation of ax plus b, that is a, all right? And this, and we'll write this one from the, and we'll write this one from the last expression, uh, a squared into minus one. So if I write all of this properly, so a cube minus one minus two, and um, yeah, a x plus b to the power minus three. All right, now observe carefully that uh, for third derivative, it goes on till uh, two and, uh, and, and, uh, and the exponent of a is 3, and the exponent of ax plus b is minus 3. So we can write the, so we can write the generalized expression for nth, nth derivative, that is um, a to the power n into ax plus b to the power minus n um, into n minus 1 factorial, right, because it goes till 2 for third derivative, and um, for third derivative, it is giving a positive sign because two minus two minus will combine and will make the expression um, uh, will give a, a positive sign for the expression. And here, for two, for that is for the second second derivative here, we have a, we have a negative sign, right? So for minus one, we'll write minus one minus one to the power n minus one, right? So when there is a, so when, if n is equals to two, um, we have, we'll have a minus one and when n is, and when n is equals to three, then we have, then we'll have a positive sign, all right? So this is our generalized expression um, for uh, y is equals to log ax plus b so this is our generalized expression for n derivative of log ax plus b.